Hello, I am Sophronia Scott with the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing, and this is Faculty Friday. This is your opportunity to hear from some amazing faculty that you'll get to work with as a student in our MFA program. Today we have with us Karen E. Bender, a tremendous fiction writer. Uh, she's a short story writer. She was a finalist for the National Book Award for her short story collection, Refund. But we are talking novels today. She is the author of the novels like Normal People and A Town of Empty Rooms. This is our way of celebrating National Novel Writing Month. So we hope that this will be great support for those trying to crank out those 55,000 word manuscripts this month. Thanks for joining us, Karen. Oh, it's always a pleasure. So here's the thing about cranking out a novel, especially when you're trying to do it, you know, in one month. People tend to think that that a novel gets written from beginning to end. And that's not necessarily true. But but what do you do when you are writing it in, in pieces or you, you don't have something that's that you're ready to write right now for a particular section? Yeah, no, great, great question. So, I mean, so one thing I talk about with, with writing a novel is that it's like trying to hug a buttered elephant. <laughs> it's like you're trying to put your arms around this thing that is just so hard to get hold of. It's just so hard. So the idea is um, how do you kind of do it in like, you know, stages or, um, you know, how do you do it like bit by bit? Um, and one thing I really believe in is placeholders, which is the idea of, you know, you're writing along, you know, you you have momentum, you have a character, you kind of know what the character is like, but you don't really know how to describe the character. So you just put description TK, you know, or you just say, you know, some abstract word, you know, um, you know, that you'll go back later and make more specific. So I think it can be really um, a nice thing that will just keep you going, you know, if you just feel like you want to, you know, finish a scene or, or something. But, um, you know, to know that, that that books happen over time and that you can go back and then fill it in later. Exactly. You, you know who uh, who did that? The, the Beatles did that when they were songwriting. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Yeah. If you watch the um, the documentary um, "Get Back," you'll see them. You know, and they're they're writing oh. a ton of songs, and yeah. you'll hear George Harrison working on the song "Something," right? And he's he's he, but he doesn't have the lyrics yet. He just has the music, and he's singing "Something Da Da Da," something "Pomegranate," right? He's right. Singing, da, da, <laughs> pomegranate, and and they they will use nonsense words or clips from what they saw in a newspaper just to fill in the words while they work out the music. They, so right. they, they were they were tremendous placeholders um in the song hey jude that that weird line the movement you need is on your shoulder was meant to be a placeholder but john lennon said to paul mccartney no that that works keep that <laughs> right so you never know what's going to come from a placeholder that's a, i didn't know that that is a great documentary by the way yes i totally agree it's great in the creative process yeah and how playful it is and also how sort of improvisational it is yes. you know that you're trying things out and it doesn't have to be right the first time you yeah. can go back yeah and so sometimes I know that for example I know that the character is going to have this major conversation right and something's going to happen in this conversation that's going to move the plot in this direction but I don't know what the people are going to say just yet right I don't know, exactly. I know right. what's going to happen, but right. I don't know what they're going to say but I can I, I know what happens after that so sometimes yeah. I will just stop, you know, conversation TK, mm -hmm. yeah. which by yeah. the way is a, you know, like an old journalism term. It means to come <laughs> TK, right. even though it's you know, K-O-M-E. But um, but yeah, I will put that in there knowing I will come back and, and figure out that conversation later, or I will figure it out while I'm in the shower or walking around, right. <laughs> but, um, but it doesn't stop me. <clears throat> I think a lot of writers do that, um, new writers anyway, they, they stop because they don't know what that piece is. And they think they can't move forward without it. When right. Really think they can't. Right. Because in a way, writing or novel time is different from actual time. <laughs> you know, creative time is different. Like, you know, it's it's like you're figuring things out, like in the shower or on a walk or something. And then suddenly be like, oh, that's what I need to do. Yeah. So just trusting that. Yeah. Yeah. So, and trusting and enjoying the process. So thank yes. you. For that. that's, right. that's an empowering gift. Okay. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. So thank you, the viewer, for watching. 
We are with the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing. Our website is alma, A-L-M-A dot E-D-U slash MFA. We are taking applications for our next term. I hope you will join us. She's Karen Bender. I am Sophronia Scott. Take care and we'll talk to you again soon.